You made us hold on to the positive thoughts. Oh, men, love, you boosted us with your smile to the positive. Oh, men, love, you've come so far, guiding us to the Inspired both young and old with patience and mindfulness. We thank you, O oh Minla. We thank you. This gift that you gave us is larger than life to go ahead with confidence and smile. You gave us the direction Oh Minla You boosted us with your smiles Oh Minla You've come so far Guiding us to the right We thank you And Laliji, we thank you for everything. A global namaste, a good afternoon, a very good morning, or a very good evening from whichever part of the globe you're joining us live on Facebook on Zoom, and other social media platforms. A very warm welcome to all of you, our Zoom audience, uh, to the 60th uh, Minla Zoom session. We celebrate 60 Zoom sessions today online. Minla means Mina, Mina Kagram and Lalit Soda. We started these Zoom sessions at the beginning of the pandemic in the year 2020 to inspire, to motivate, to generate love, peace, harmony with the humanity around the globe. This was quite a challenge when we started. However, as I said, today is the 60th session. And today, Minla is truly delighted to have collaborated with one of the top media companies, Manish Media, based in Jaipur in India, and also New York in the United States of America. Mr. Chand, who is the co-founder, owner of Manish Media, has collaborated with us on this very exciting session with a very, very special personality all the way from Amritsar. So I would, ladies and gentlemen, would like to introduce you to our wonderful speaker today. She is none other than president of the All India Pingarwala Charitable Society, none other than Dr. Inderjit Kaur. A lovely personality born in the year 1942. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, 79 approaching 80 and look at this woman's energy that she has. So we are truly delighted that she is with us today. A professional MBBS from the Government Medical College of Patiala in Punjab graduated in 1967. She is currently a member of the Indian Medical Association and other organizations, including the vice president of the Indo-Soviet Cultural Society that she has also belonged to. She is also the member of the All India Pingarwala Society in Amritsar, 
and she was the president there for many, many years. She has been honored and awarded right across the globe, starting from Calgary in Alberta. She got the Seva Singh Lopoke Award. She was also honored in Washington, in Chicago, in London. She got the awarded as a Lifetime Achievement Award in, by the Sikh Directory in London in 2012. She is awarded the highest one can get in India. The awarded of the Padma Bhushan by the government of India in January 2008. She was also awarded the Vibrant Indian Award amongst many other awards that she's had. The activities she looks after at the Pingarwala under her stewardship are based on welfare, where people are getting free medical services, the poor and the needy are getting them. They are getting free help to the giving to the handicapped people and in material and medical aid to all kinds of people through the natural calamities that have gone through. They're providing artificial limbs and they're also providing senior citizen homes, healthcare, medical care, education, they have had a huge impact on that, on the environment, and absolutely on education. We're conducting seminars for all walks of people. And obviously on a social basis where distribution of free literature is being given on medical, social, ethical, and environmental issues, very much with the current times. Ladies and gentlemen, that doesn't stop the work she does. She also has supporting with the Gaushalas at Manavala branch. They are doing crema cremation of unclaimed bodies, donation of eyes. And you know what? This charitable work continues and the list goes on. Now, my only question, and this is where we all want to hear about her life story, and how she has been coming to this, and at the age of 80, having such inspiration to be doing such amount of work. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very wonderful speaker. I'd like you to open up your videos, and I would also like you to give a good welcome to our Dr. Indrajit Kaur. Ladies and gentlemen, look, if you have your windows closed, that's fine. Put in a reaction and clap for her. This is a wonderful personality, and we are going to get inspired by her today. Aren't we, sir? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Kesaria. There are oh, many, many hands on coming up. Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, we also have our collaborating organization, Manish Media. I just want to make sure that Mr. Chan is logged in. He has just flown in into Jaipur right now. I'm not sure whether he's had a chance to arrive there. Minabin, is he logged in at the moment? Okay, you'll have to unmute yourself so I can hear you. Yes, no, it's he, right. not yet, not yet. Okay, not a problem. We're Very going to give time. we're going to give Mr. Chan some time, but we'll carry on with our session. Minabin, when Mr. Chan logs in, please just give me a little message, and then we'll get him in. I know he's been a very busy man through his publication house. He's actually just landed in Jaipur and he's on his way home. He was actually in, in the state of Gujarat enjoying the Thepla, Fafra and Dokra in Ahmedabad. So he has just flown from Ahmedabad to Jaipur and landed recently at the airport. So ladies and gentlemen, we'll have some patience and we'll That's definitely it. have Mr. Chand coming in shortly joining us. So next, what I would like to do, Mrs. Meena Khagram, she's already dressed up traditionally to welcome of a wonderful speaker, Dr. Indrajit Kaur, in a very traditional way. Meena Ben, I would request you to unmute and we can go ahead and welcome Dr. Kaur. Sastri Akal. Sastri Akal. Aapke Tilak. Chokha. Welcome to our Zoom session. Thank you so much. Yeah. And this is for you. Oh, thank you. 
I have got one for Chand Bhai, but now he hasn't come. So we'll wait for him and give him. A global Namaskar, global Jambo to all. Sastri Akal, Vahare Guru. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. My cute cousin, <laughs> Lalit and myself, we we are super excited to welcome you all in our live Minla Zoom session and our own fans which watching live on Facebook. Rafiki, do not forget to share your page, our page, and welcome Chandbai and family of Manish Media, especially Abhishek, who made this session possible. Welcome, Doctor. Indrajit ji, what a beautiful vibes you have. Already feeling connected. Welcome to the Flamingo and greater city of Nakuru, where Lake Nakuru is famous for wildlife and flamingos. We have an oldest museum, an old volcano crater, now most famous for safari rally. Nakuru County is the one where world famous fastest runners like Eliud Kipchoge and Lady Faith are born. In the world, we are number one. Let me introduce Vivi and Dwana. Our backbone of this session, MC Dr. Lalit Soda. He is a chiropractor. He's a professional speaker. He is an author, and he is a recipient of many, many awards, including Marwa Awards, the journalist one. But he humbly says, don't mention them. Thank you, Lalit. Back to you. Thank you very much, Meena Ben. Thank you very, very much. डॉक्टर इंद्रजीत जी आपका फिर से स्वागत करते हैं और यहाँ से हम आपकी जर्नी की शुरुआत करेंगे कि यहाँ हम सब इकट्ठे हुए हैं आपको सुनने के लिए लेकिन ये सुनना तो हमको बहुत अच्छा लगेगा लेकिन हमारे थोड़े प्रश्न भी हैं जो हम आपको पूछने चाहेंगे कि ये सब कैसे हुआ तो बिफोर हम ये शुरू करें प्रोग्राम तो इफ यू वुड लाइक टू से सम फ्यू वर्ड एंड देन वी कैन स्टार्ट द शो The floor is all yours, Dr. Indrajit Ji. Yes, thank you so much for giving time to me uh, that I can express myself and uh, I can tell people how I started this uh, work in Pingalwada and uh, how it, how it became possible. Uh, though it is already parents who guide you to do work in uh, how to live a good life. Uh, ideal life and uh, because in sikhism <clears throat> there are two things very important that is simran meditation and social service very much importance is given to both of these things and our gurus have practiced all these things not only they have told us to do all these things but they have practiced themselves that uh, that gives a great inspiration to the people who follow sikhism so my parents they believed in sikhism and they didn't only follow rituals and robes and all that they practiced the teachings of gurus uh, that's why they inspired me to do social work uh, and uh, looking for the poor looking for the destitutes this was the inspiration given my given my parents so then it was followed by the i came into contact with bhagat puran singh who was the founder of the uh, pingavara institution and he dedicated his life uh, for the institution he didn't have any money at all and uh, this is a very uh, strange thing that the person who doesn't have any money who don't have roof on his head and uh, still he is looking for the people who are destitute who are uh, mentally deranged who are uh, suffering from different diseases which are not curable and uh, he dedicated his life for, for all these things he begged from door to door for the medicines for the food for the clothes 
and for 10 years there was no roof on his head a proper roof i can say so for 24 years he was in gurdwara dera sahib now in pakistan there he found his spastic child and he named him as Pyara Singh because he loved him so much and he had no he had no room in the gurdwara but still on the cycle stand he looked uh, looked after him this was the start that he started uh, uh, looking that there are so many people who don't have roof on their heads and they die untimely death, which made him thinking of making this institution that is Pingal Wada. Pingal means a cripple, Wada means enclosure, which is, it is the enclosure of the destitutes for the cripples, for the handicapped, for the uh, mental, uh, mentally deranged men, men, women, and the person suffering from the hemiplegia, paraplegia, or oh, different uh, diseases, and uh, they are left on the roads. And uh, sometimes the uh, people have accidents on the roads. They come from different states. They don't have their home over here. There is uh, nobody to look after them, and there are the maggots on the in the wounds and all that. So the, that was a very difficult path which he adopted. And uh, by reading his uh, uh, biography one can easily get inspired to do all that work. So this was uh, how Pingalwala started with one spastic child. And uh, then the, there was a partition. He started work in uh, Gurdwara, which is situated in Pakistan. Or uh, then there was a partition. He uh, came over to India, uh, stood, for, uh, stood in the refugee camp for some time. And there was no refugee camp, but still the people were suffering from different diseases. As they were migrating from Pakistan, suffering from uh, different problems, they were hungry, they were diseased. So he started work on the footpath just uh, uh, near the railway station of Amritsar. And uh, he begged from door to door for food, for clothes and all that. And there were some patients who couldn't clean themselves could not clean their own work. So he had to uh, wash the spoiled clothes with the fecal and urine. And because there was nobody to help him for many years, whenever he found some helper, then he provided a work, good work that is a feeding the patients, but he used to clean all these dirty clothes himself. So this, this is enough inspiration uh, that uh, he gave all the people who, who have some humanity, some altruistic people, some compassionate people, they uh, naturally they followed him and uh, he back, uh, gave, him, gave him donations. And after 10 years, he actually got the uh, Pingalwara registered. All India Pingalwara Charity Society was registered after 10 years. For 10 years, he was on the roads, either he made huts or uh, he occupied the places which were not occupied by anybody. So this was the start of Pingalwara. Amazing. That is such a beautiful start. Obviously, the, the society and the organization that has reached its heights of success at the moment started with nothing. And that's the interesting part. Dr. Indrajit Ji, I don't want to um, sort of interrupt our conversation, but we have this wonderful personality that has joined in, Mr. Chandmal Kumavat. So he has made it home from his airport journey. So what I would like to do, since we have just begun the, the session, I would like to invite Mr. Chandmal Kumavat and uh, let him do his formal welcome. But I would love the people to know who this lovely gentleman is. Mr. Chanmo is uh, Manish Media, that is what he is. This was a company established in 1999 in Jaipur in India and later moving on to the United States of America. This is a media house with a difference leading with exclusive publications along with pioneering in connecting beyond boundaries. He has published over 46 coffee table books, publications, which came through. And it started all 
like a book's like. It started all with a dream. The jewels of Gujarat, the jewels of Punjab, the jewels of Rajasthan. And this gentleman has actually published some exclusive books. So absolutely a wonderful personality to talk to. And his business and what he does is phenomenal. I mean, we could be doing another session on him. So ladies and gentlemen, he actually played a very key role when our Prime Minister, Mr. Narendra Modi, came to London. Manish Media was playing a pioneer role in his trip to, to, to London. So above all, with his, all his good work that Mr. Chand does, Mr. Chand is a very humble, a kind and a compassionate individual. Mr. Chand, welcome to Minla Zoom session. And we would like you to just formally welcome our guest speaker, and then we'll continue with this. Thank you. Jessica, I convey my Jessica, 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 looking for your good health. Jai Jalaram Bapa, Minaben, Laliji, good afternoon to you in London. Thank you and very sorry to join you some late because I just take my flight and still came to home to join you. As you mentioned, we are blessed by Papa to do something work to connect people across the globe. Especially while we meet BBG, we saw her work and his services to the humanity. No word to say in honor of them. And same, we meet Mina Ben. We are wonder. Thank we you. meet them are in Nakuru, London, and in Kenya. She hosted a fantastic lunch for us. And Lalit Bhai, uh -huh. um, my last function, we are fortunate your Student Home Secretary grace my occasion in ah. Ahmedabad. Why did okay. I publish a book of uh, Jewel of Gujarat, first edition? Uh -huh. I'm fortunate to uh, have conversation with your at, uh, present Home Secretary. Nothing, nothing want to say much. We do our work and like you mentioned, our basic core to connect people across the globe. Just to mention about you all the senior person, on 7th of January 2022, we are going to launch our new coffee table book, Jewel of India, leading Indian Canadian personality. Wow. That is also that is also on occasion of Platinum Year Jubilee of our Indian independence. And it is in association with Indian High Commission, Canada. Very so, nice. BBG, BBG and Mina Ben. I आपका थोड़ा स्वागत करेंगे officially. So nice, so nice. आप आशीर्वाद चाहिए. देखो मैं साथ में मेरा पोती भी है. She also joined me. Her name is Kushi. Her name is Kushi. He is my IT manager. She is my IT manager. She organizes everything. Hi Kushi. How are you? Hello. Yeah. I am fine. How are you? Fine. Manish ki ladki ke. Yeah. Manish, go ahead and do Manish. the formal welcome so that we can yeah. go on to the session. Is, yeah. Yeah. Sure. This is for you, Mani, uh, Manish. Manish, yeah. bhai. Yeah. I I accept your blessing. You are my senior model. You are my Gigi. And I Thank welcome you. to our Zoom session. And thank you. especially this is for you now. Thank you, thank you. I accept your blessing. This Over is more you, than. Ali. Thank you, Mr. Manish uh, Chanbai. Thank you very much from Manish Media to welcome our guest speaker and Dr. Indrajit Ji. We will continue with your journey, which started from the streets. So my next question to you would be: How did you actually get in connection with? Bhagat Puran Singh, how did you meet him? Actually, I had great love for my father and he expired in 1975. And uh, I 
really missed his blessing. Uh, and uh, I searched for a spiritual person who can guide us in our life for doing good work. So I met Bhagat Purun Sanji beforehand also, and I invited him on the uh, death uh, function, Pog, we can say, in the memory of my father. He came to me, and uh, my wish was uh, accepted by the God, and he actually wrote a very emotional letter after leaving my place. And he said that I am now the uh, eldest member of your family. And uh, I, you, uh, br br you and br your brothers and sisters have behaved like daughters and sons to me. And now I consider myself as the, your eldest in the family. So this was the, this is what I wanted that uh, somebody should bless us, somebody should place his uh, spiritual head on our heads so that we can lead a life of morality, life of compassion, life of altruism. All these qualities were there in my father. So he accepted us as daughters and, brother, uh, daughters and sons, and we accepted him as the eldest family member. So this was the cos cosmotic relationship, which uh, bonding between Pagat Purun Singh and myself. Then he became ill in 1980, he was suffering from uh, prostate, a large prostate, he was operated, there was some complication. So naturally when uh, he considered uh, me as a daughter, and I was the eldest about, uh, among my brothers and sisters. So I went to the hospital and I served him as, as a daughter, as a doctor, as a nurse. And uh, remain, I have to remain there for near a month. And I was a practicing doctor and the only unknown member in my family. So he was a wonderstruck that how you came to me. Uh, nobody uh, looks after their parents, their grandparents. Like, uh, how uh, you managed to come to me uh, after leaving your practice and all that. So he, he gave me so many love and affection and blessings and uh, which connected uh, me with Bhagat Purun Singh. Uh, when you love someone, you have to uh, complete uh, his uh, work which he has left behind. We have to, and then he uh, wrote a will in my name that she will be uh, my uh, next, Pingalabada uh, uh, Come, patron president, who I do, he will do it after that. Okay. So, how many years were you when you responsibility you took this responsibility? I was made member first in 86, and then 87 vice president. And he, uh, in 92, he expired, and after that, I had to take that responsibility. So, almost 25, 27 years that you've been doing all this. And then 92, I was about 50 years old at that time. Yes. So at 50 years of age, a lot of people are thinking of retiring, thinking that we'll probably work another five, 10 years. Bas kaam kar liya, zindagi khatam, retire ho jayenge, bacche ko sambalenge, unke bacche ko sambalenge, or retired life guzarenge. Like in 50 mein, aapne ye bada mission liya, ki ye pingar wala jo hai, wo it will be working under your jurisdiction. So what was that turning point in your life that you said, okay, fine, you will take over. Okay, I understand. Uh, Bhagat Puran Singh had all this faith and confidence in you that you would do it. Were you mentally, physically, emotionally prepared to take this challenge? Because it is a big challenge. because he had confidence in me that uh, she will uh, carry on my work diligently. So there was, exam his example was before me that how he started this work and uh, his experience was with me. And moreover, he spent much time with me, uh, teaching me 
uh, for the natural problem, the social problems, with the environmental problems, uh, and uh, about the lives of the great people who really did work for the uh, for their country, for the world rather, because uh, he had much faith in the religious books, especially in Guru Granth Sahib. And the teachings of Guru Granth Sahib made a, makes a person very humble because Guru Nanak has said, Dicha andar neech jat, dichi hu at neech. Nanak tin ke sang saath vadnya syo kya reis. Dithe neech samali and dithe nadar teri bakshish. So Guru Nanak says that I am lowly and lowliest among the lowest. But to compare with the rich people, uh, I have not, I have no connection with the rich people and God is pleased with those people who serve the poor, who serve the lowest and the lowliest. So bless, God's blessing is there. So this is the insignia of Pingalwada that Jithe Neech Samalian, where, where they are, the, the person who are considered low, they are being looked after, there, is, there are the blessings of the God. They reside the blessings of the God. So this is the main thing which uh, made him do it. The second thing that uh, uh, in our Guru Granth Sahib scripture, the thing is repeated many times that uh, the person who loves God, who uh, follows God, who adores God, he loves God, and the person who loves God can't live the life of seclusion. He have to, because the love of God and love of the neighbor go hand in hand. And God resides in every creature. This was the lesson which Bhagat Purun Singh's mother imbibed in his mind that God resides in every living creature. So he, is, you know, he was not worried about the human beings. He was worried about the... Uh, animals, he was worried about the small creatures and he was worried about the environment, about the trees, about the plants, about the agriculture. Uh, so all he to, taught me like a teacher, giving me different lessons on the different subjects. Then he, he was a voracious reader. He read many philosophers. Dr. Albert Switzer, I don't know you know him or not, Yes. He was born in England, where, from where you are speaking, and uh, he worked in Africa. And he worked tirelessly. He collected money by playing on piano. He did many MDs, one MD on medicine, one MD on uh, piano, music, and medicine, and two, three, uh, I think, uh, philosophy. I think three, three, four MDs he did, Dr. Albert Switzer. And Pahit Guru Singh was inspired by the life of Dr. Albert Switzer. Then he read Plato, then he uh, read Socrates. So uh, he, uh, then uh, John Ruskin, he was an environmental, uh, environmental journalist. So he taught me like a teacher, uh, this land belongs, belongs to, to our previous generations and this land will also belong to our next generation. So we have no right. Next generations, all the three things, air, water, and earth, these are being spoiled by the human beings. And uh, we are not worried about the next generations. So he was not worried about the people at present, he was worried about the next generations. So he was worried about the environment. He uh, wrote many uh, articles or read about eight newspapers daily, and especially uh, those articles which were written by the scientists or the uh, philosophers, and then again got it printed. We have got printing press also. We are printing many books. Now I can show you that Sadhu T. L. Goswami, he, he believed, my father also believed in Sadhu T. L. Goswami. So I read his biography about three, four times and selected some articles from his book biography. So we have printed this book, Gems of Thoughts. 
So spiritual way of life is written by me also. And many articles which were written by Pagadji uh, that was being printed now. This is the National Spiritual Awakening. You see this book, uh, Dr. Radha Krishnan, uh, photo is there. He was a great uh, educationist and philosopher. And uh, 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 President Dr. Radha Krishnan called our politicians to identify themselves with the lowest of the lowly and do the utmost to elevate the sufferings of the humanity. Same thing which Guru Nanak said. So there are many similar things. So when you read the lives of good people and the articles of the philosophers, then your brain uh, is something, something uh, change, changes, uh, new prospects are there. And uh, he taught me that the 27, 21 civilizations have looked in this world. And when the creativity uh, is lost in some uh, civilization, that is lost. So the creative spark must be there in the mi minority people. Only then the civilization can go on. So the main thing that God resides in every creature, especially among the lowest and the lowly. We have not to go that uh, this uh, person belongs to which caste, which nationality, uh, that uh, we, we must uh, help the human beings who are, who need your help. Maybe there are many uh, in Ingalwada, we have got so many uh, children who are uh, special children, we, mentally retarded, we can say, suffering from autism, so suffering from uh, Down syndrome, suffering from different other problems, uh, cerebral palsy and all that. Then we have got uh, ladies who, are, who have uh, mental illness and uh, men who have mental illness. The old persons uh, are in, in a uh, helpless condition, lying on the roads, suffering from different <laughs> problems. So they are being uh, picked up by the Pinkalwara and uh, helped. There is no, in our uh, file, we, we don't have any uh, mention of any religion. For me, for us, every human being is alike. Every human being is a brother or sister. Because Guru Nanak has taught us that koi jat pat nahi hai, koi sab prabar hai, koi uch nich nahi hai, koi ucha nahi, koi niche nahi, koi Grieve, Amir ka koi bheed bhaav nahi hai. To ye sab cheez hai jo hai. This is being taught to us in our Guru Granth Sahab. And we have to follow all these ideals. Pagat Purna Singh also spent many years in Gurdwara Sahab, listening to Guru Bani. And following the teachings of Gurus, Pagat Kabir, Pagat Fareed, Pagat Ravidas, so many Pagat, so many devotees, uh, their Bani is there in Guru Granth Sahab. So they all teach us that manas ki jaad sabhi ek ki pehchan bo. Guru Gobind Singh says, manas ki jaad sabhi ek ki pehchan bo. Then Guru Nanak Dev says, truth is high, but higher is truth for living. So when Guru Nanak Dev, somebody asked Guru Nanak Ji, that Hindu achsa ke musulman, dono mein se kona achsa hai, toh na kya shubh amala baad jo dono rai. Jod ke achche, अच्छा बिहेवियर नहीं है अच्छे आइडियल्स नहीं है अच्छे काम नहीं है वो दोनों ही खराब हैं और जिनके काम अच्छे हैं वो सब अच्छे हैं जो है ये आई फॉलो आल्सो बिकॉज़ आई बिलीव ऑल दिस थिंग्स तो एवरी रिलिजन टीचेस अस दैट गॉड इज प्रेजेंट इन एवरी क्रिएचर एंड वी मस्ट लव एवरी लाइफ डॉक्टर एल्बर्ट सिटर सेज आल्सो सेज Dr. Albert Switzer says that every creature wants to live. This is a, a, put in the minds uh, by the God. Nobody, no creature wants to die. So I respect that feeling of every creature as he says that when earthworm is there after the rainy season, earthworm is on the metallic road, then I uh, to, uh, take up the earthworm and put on the soil, so that uh, every creature uh, in the world is made for the human being. Mostly all creatures, they help us. But 
what we are doing we are using pesticides we are using bombs to uh, we don't bother for the peace we don't bother for the love of the country we don't believe in simple life we should have simple life we should have humility we should uh, have bond with the uh, broken ones and poor ones and we we should uh, believe in the will of god thank you that's amazing share dr indrajit such strong philosophy such strong beliefs that has led you through where you are now interestingly putting all these beliefs in practice and holding by your principles you actually at the pingarwala society are currently managing over 1800 people is that correct yes yes now all these 1800 people are under so called under your jurisdiction whether you're giving them medical aid or physical aid or food how does all this happen how do first of all i have a two two fold question this is not a single man's job so you've obviously got people who look after different departments who is who is setting up all this organization for you and what is your role in the whole pingalwara charitable society we have got uh, this all india pingala charitable society has seven members and luckily all members are honest and dedicated to institution sure this is this is this is the greatest blessings on my head and uh, i i don't consider all the inmates as some persons who are not related to me these are my personal family members and some of the some of the members are, are deaf some of my family members they are special children some of my family members are suffering from hyperplasia some of my family members suffering from aids some of my family members suffer from spinal cord injury and uh, i have to i have to look after my own family members for uh, for the treatment of uh, uh, special children we have got a special school and then we have got deaf we have got deaf children that we started school for the deaf children so we have got normal we had normal children so we started school for the normal children because some children were suffering from polio and they they could not attend the government schools and they because the government school sometimes they have to go upstairs and they they, they could not go then we started our own school and in our school we admit uh, those uh, children also who belong to the uh, families who were uh, financially poor okay so this is how you feel that then i saw a movie video that uh, person who have lost the limbs if he apply limbs then they can be uh, they can lead a normal life and doing some work and also then i then i started that we should st- we should start uh, the prosthetic or aesthetic centers but luckily as per following bhagat purur singh we don't charge anything from anybody everything is provided uh, free of cost and the donation which is being sent to the pingalwada by the god loving people they are used for education they are used for uh, nursery they are used for zero budget natural farming they are used for the study of the children who are normal some for deaf children from outside also they come to us our school and they are uh, given free education and uh, you will be surprised to know that in the uh, deaf school they we got an uh, honorary worker Uh, who has retired from the air force uh, and uh, he has printed the book uh, of sign language in punjabi and that wow. is for the first time wow in the world great so achievement because, absolutely because the uh, parents over here don't know english and mostly sign language is in english so he 
we prepared a book of sign language in punjabi and uh, used to teach their parents also so that the deaf children can communicate with the with their parents so main problem is of the deaf children they they can't communicate with their parents and uh, in, for the special children they they are thrown away on the streets or in gurdwara sahab uh they are thrown by the parents uh, uh, but because the children can't speak they can't tell who is their parent maybe standing by side and they reach pingalwada and uh, they are being brought up and uh, given good food given good education as much as they can learn and you be surprised to know that some of these our children in pingalwada they uh, competed in the Uh, international uh, special games uh, in uh, athletics and uh, in different in different games because they have got different games so internationally they won the award uh, previously wow. international uh, internationally so uh, we were very proud of it because the children who who were best children being thrown away on the stage they are brought up in the way that they can participate in the international olympics special olympics and won the prizes so this is the achievement then for the deaf children i came to know that we hold held a seminar on the deafness and i came to know from a experienced doctor who was the director of all india institute he attended the seminar and talked about the uh, uh, cochlear implant operation which is done on the deaf children and then this can hear also so i think uh, i thought that this is a, this is a great thing if a deaf child can uh, speak and listen so then we did uh, cochlear implant operations in pingalwada and we had a micro surgery operation theater and uh, i requested the doctor jm hans uh, to operate our ch- to operate the children free of cost so uh, about 7 uh, 8 children were being operated on the for the cochlear implant and uh, this is done by the uh, because uh, for one operation we have to about spend 6 to 7 lakh rupees so this is all on donations so uh, the uh, it uh, uh, second thing that prosthetic center we apply limbs to the limbless persons who have lost their limbs in accident or this is a, another problem that uh, because you as life is going on we use pesticides we are doing explosions uh, nuclear uh, radiation and all that so some children are born with a congenital problem some don't have that leg some don't have um so many children came to us for the artificial limb new born children about 4 5 years about 6 years they come for the prosthetic they want limbs and for every 6 months we have to change it because they grow up mm. so uh, this is again then because number of the special children mentally retarded children were going number of the uh, problem uh, children with the congenital problems uh, uh, is growing so I, when we had a seminar on the disability in pingalwara and from there it came that the main reason of the disability is the use of pesticides which are using in agriculture then we bought a land and we start with the blessings of the god we started zero budget natural farming zero budget means you have not to buy anything from bazaar then natural farming so this was a, again a, another scientist palekar he belonged to amravati he did a research on this uh, uh, natural farming zero budget natural farming he guided us and we started it so that the farmers can come and see with the god's blessing that the uh, uh the product was more than uh, chemical form in some in some cases for one two years it was a little lesser but after that it was it increased 
because the fertility of the land was increased by the uh, microorganisms which are of friends. So uh, fertility increased, soil became uh, healthier, and we got more uh, more products from that land. And uh, this was a model farm that uh, other farmers can see because many farmers in Punjab committed suicide because uh, they have to spend much more on the chemical farming and on that. So this was the aim that the for this should uh, children should not new children should not be with the congenital abnormalities. Uh, meant special children should not be so much in numbers in India. So for all that, we started this zero budget natural farm. Then we started nursery because Bhagat Purum Singh uh, he used to believe in planting trees and uh, he used to uh, write many, many books, many articles on the uh, environment. I think in Asia, we have got the maximum books on the environment about the global warming, about the uh, fertility of the land, about the water that is receding in Punjab. So after when it was uh, underground water was only 15 feet uh, down, even then we started telling people that there'll be no water after some time, useless water, useless water. And then for air, that we are polluting air, we should not use. Uh, many uh, uh, vehicles driven by the petrol or the diesel, we, we should use bicycle and so, 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 much, so, so, and so, and so. <laughs> sure, sure. So you've obviously got a very good system in place. So when you are running such a massive organization where you're looking after so many family members, 1800 plus, do they still keep pouring in? Are those people, are they new people joining the organization or the society? And if they are joining the society as your family member, how can they find out about Pingarwala society? How can they search and say, ah, maybe I should go there, they will help me? So many people are helping us. There is a charitable society in Canada. There is a charitable society in England. There is a charitable society in Canada. America, so uh, many people are helping us uh, from other countries also, NRIs and other, uh, others also who are uh, helping Pingalwada in, uh, in funds. And uh, uh, many people are joining uh, uh, in ordinary, doing ordinary work in Pingalwada. My family members are also involved in this work. My brother in law is in charge of one branch of Pingalwada. And there are many children, there were many children, uh, normal children in Pingalwara who have studied up to the postgraduates and now some are working in Pingalwara also. So okay. they are my children. So I, I am very proud of it. They can recite Kirtan, they, they read Guru Granth Sahib, they follow Guru Granth Sahib and becoming a good people in the world, I think. I, I, I hope so. Yes. So here we would be quite interesting to know that there are some of your students who are there. But in so in Amritsar, the Pingarwala Society is widely known. Is that correct? Everybody knows Pingarwala. Even in the world, people uh, world uh, Pingarwala is known to many people in many countries. So, right. And that's why you've been honored by many countries, I know. However, people who are local there or people around the globe, if they are seeking any help from yourself, how can they connect with you to get this kind of information? What is the best way to connect with the Pingalwala Society? We have got website, we have got email addresses and all that. And uh, uh, everybody... Uh, uh, can come in, uh, immediately to Pingalwara. But one thing is that we admit only those persons who are destitute. destitute. The person who, who have got their father, mother, brother, sisters, we don't admit those, those persons. Okay. So your one only criteria, so one of the criteria is that the person has to be totally destitute. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. So I was going to request uh, somebody from your end to put the message on the chat box. 
so that we can read the uh, website and the contact details to get in connection with Pingarwala Society. So if there's somebody who can do that, that would be great. And then we will announce that also on the session. So the global audience that's on Facebook, on Zoom, can get the information on how to connect with the Pingarwala Society. Thank you for sharing that information, Dr. Indrajit. Email, email address is pingalwada57 at gmail.com. Pingalwada, P-I-N-G-A-L-W-A-R-A. -A. And website is www.pingalwada.org. So pingalwada, same spelling, P-I-N-G-A-L-W-A-R-A dot -A org. So All India Pingala Sanitary Society, GT Road, the Silpura, Amritsar. Uh, uh, the number, telephone number of administrator, I can tell you, 9814535937. Anybody can call that Darshan Singh Baba, he's administrator in Pingalwada, chief administrator. So anybody can call him. So I have got seven members and seven branches all members are dedicated and they are from different fields. One is retired uh, in a, from education. One is retired from, as a, from the uh, uh, development of the uh, state. And so some different people for doctor, uh, ENT doctor and uh, divisional town planner, he is a retired divisional town planner. One is Dr. Uh, uh, Jagdeepak Singh, vice president. Is ENT professor, so one uh, one uh, one of very 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 senior person, the Lochan Singh Chima. Uh, you will like glad to know that he is 96 years old, still doing work in Pingalwada for Sangroor branch, and he is also member of Pingalwada society. Very Absolutely. active member. See, this is where the, the true leadership. It means that no matter what the age is, age is only a number. If you have the right heart for Seva, then that's going to happen. So at 96, he's giving his services to Pingalwara. That is amazing. Very well done. So you've got all seven members who are professional, who are qualified, who are making sure that the organization is running properly. Now, earlier in your conversation, you mentioned that you actually depend on contributions that are made by various organizations, individuals to your society. How would people, again, I would say, connect with you to give, if they wanted to, any charitable donations for your society? Would that be purely through the website or do you, uh, is there a specific name, number, email that one would contact? In the website, you go to the donations and then you, you can find how to donate to Pingalwada uh, because they are different societies in England also, in um, Canada, in America. And we have got, for India, we have got so many bank accounts one can uh, directly put on a weaker or somebody can uh, also send donations through website or they can send donations uh, online on the banks. Sure. So thank you to Mr. Yogesh, who has posted the email address on the chat box. That's pingarwala57 at gmail.com. Ladies and gentlemen, take a note of this email address. Once again, pingarwala57 at gmail.com. And the website, www pingarwala.org. So connect with them, find out more about this charitable institution. And also if you wish to donate or contribute, entirely up to you. But certainly this is a massive cause for humanity. So everybody would want to, I'm sure, have some kind of connection and assistance that they can give this wonderful organization. Dr. Indrajit, thank you very much for sharing those points. I wanted to ask you a couple more questions. This is where I was going to ask you by saying, this is an organization you joined. What, 
at this stage of your life, what would be your ultimate goal with respect to the organization? Ultimate goal is to serve humanity in different ways, nothing else, and remember God. Feeling unity with the poor and poor ones, broker ones. And one thing I will request that we made a film on for the Purun Singh Ji, that is a Janam Tumare Lekhe. It is, is Kiska Naam Hai A Janam Tumare Lekhe. So I, I request the people to see that film. It is dubbed in uh, English also. So otherwise it is in Punjabi, it is a beautiful film. And uh, one can get inspiration from uh, for social work from that film. Wow. Okay, thank you very much. That's very, very kind of you, uh, Dr. Indrajit. So here, I would also like to ask you a personal question. If at, at, at a lovely age of almost approaching 80, not quite, how would you schedule your day? What is it that you do when you first wake up and a brief description of your daily activity? Would you be able to share that with us, please? Yes, I get up early. Okay. I think... Uh, and, uh, it, along the walk, I, I, I recite I, I Jabdi Sahab, uh, written by Guru Nanak Dev Ji. And then after that, I, I read about four newspapers. And from that also, I collect articles on... I think network is a bit of an issue. Is that correct, Mina Bin? Are you getting a little freeze from her end? Yeah, so this is the, this is the fun of the virtual world where we do get loss of internet connection, but the show continues. So bear with us. I'm sure they're trying to fix their internet. She, she's trying to come back. Yes, Dr. Indrajit, are we okay? Are we connected again? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Describe your day to us. Thank you. Okay. It seems like the internet is freezing over there at their end. Um, and this, as we said, is part of the virtual world. So not a problem at all. But ladies and gents, isn't it such an inspiring thing to hear? Okay, Dr. Indrajit, I can hear you. Go ahead. Dr. Indrajit, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, carry on with your description of your day, please. Oh, I was telling that uh, I go for a walk, recite Japti Sahab, uh, written by Guru Nanak Dev Ji. And then I read about four newspapers and I collect uh, articles from that and got it printed and distributed free uh, on different, in front of different Gurdwaras. We have got book stalls. And the books are being distributed free of cost to everyone who can read them and uh, get inspired for the social work. And the uh, lives of the great man will uh, get, uh, get it printed. So this is the work. Then I go to the office and then office work is being done by me. And uh, in uh, one year, I took uh, even some patients go to the family at the home and so I visit every ward. I uh, see the patients myself, describe medicine for the workers, for the patients in uh, Delhi. Uh, this is the Delhi routine. Uh, Wonderful. So you actually are hands-on. You go and visit the patients every day. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Dr. Indrajit, that's very, very kind for describing that. Just for the benefit of the audience that is on Zoom and on Facebook, the movie that Dr. Indrajit mentioned about Bhagat Puran Singh is called A Janam Tumhare Likhe, movie on Bhagat Puran Singh Ji. Thank you, Yogesh Ji, for putting this message on the chat box again. And also to let you know that the administrator for the Pingarwala is Colonel D.S. Bhava. So make sure if there's any names or connections we want, then these are the names you want to look out for. Dr. Indrajit Ji, this is very, very inspiring uh, to, to see that this is what you're doing in, uh, in Amritsar. But not only is your office based in Amritsar, you said seven different places where it has 
been established. So does it mean that your seven different offices have different centers where people are also being looked after? Or are these just administration offices placed in different places? No, there are, uh, there are uh, our family members. I don't say okay, patients, they are our family members in every branch there are. So uh, in a, every branch, uh, I think uh, in uh, Sangru, in Chandigarh, we have got physiotherapy center, we have got dental clinics also for the patients, and uh, different facilities, dispensary, a laboratory and all that, which is not, uh, I could not tell you uh, before that uh, this medical facilities and we have started work on the uh, person suffering from the spinal cord injuries, rehabilitating them. This is the new, new uh, project we have started now. And uh, many persons come and they are being rehabilitated over here and they are being sent back again after one month or two months. Oh, wonderful. So that's, again, in addition to your current uh, medical facilities that you provide is rehabilitation. Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now, obviously, you've, you've ventured out into education, into environment, into helping the needy for medical care. So how about the little children? Is there a special place for those little children in your ashram or in your society? Pardon? Okay, so we were talking about all the destitute people. We're talking about people who need medical help. Uh, is there a special wing or a special department dedicated just to little children? Yes, there is another uh, department that we have started. Uh, helping the poor students, uh, uh, we have got different uh, fund for the education of the uh, children who are belong to poor families and want to study further, has to do higher studies, but they can't, they can't afford. So we we help them also. So this is another another project which, which I couldn't mention before. Okay. So there are many, many humanitarian projects that are being carried out, which is so nice. Now, in uh, I believe it was in 2008 that the Indian government awarded you with the Padma Bhushan Award for, uh, it was, you were honored by the government. At that particular time in 2008, what was it that the government saw and what was it that they recognized in particular in that time that you were awarded this Padma Bhushan Award. We agree, it's humanitarian, you were helping people, great. But was there one specific thing that you would say that, aha, this is what you got recognized for? This is only for social work, they gave, they gave me this award. And, but this award goes to the people who are helping me in my work. <laughs> that is dedicated to the, all my uh, persons who are my, uh, colleagues, you can say my brothers, sisters who are helping me in this work. I dedicate this award to all these persons. Oh, that's very humble and very nice of you, Dr. Indrajit. Thank you. Just a few more questions because time is fast approaching. We have a, about five, seven minutes, five minutes of maybe I'll ask you a couple of quick questions and then we'll move on to our next section on the Mindlerism session. So before we do that, I just wanted to ask you, you mentioned Sikhism, you mentioned earlier that those are the core principles that you were taught by your parents and you hold Sikhism close to your heart. So when you were growing up, was religion a very, very important and an integral part of your growing up life? About religion, which religion I don't follow properly. Okay. Okay, so I asked the question was, um, a couple times you have, in our ch chat session today, you have alluded to Sikhism and the principles of Sikhism of Seva and Smaran. So were you raised when you were younger, were you growing up with these philosophies within you or this is something that came after? 
no we have to learn these uh, uh, good things from all religions not only for sikh religion also there there are good things in uh, uh, islam also there are good things in hinduism also but all religions they don't practice the teachings of their uh, 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 gods or you can say their gurus they just believe in uh, superstition and uh, uh, which, which is not needed they believe in these things and rituals uh, uh, superstitions and all that they don't believe in teachings of christ they don't believe teachings of buddha they don't believe teachings of muhammad the prophet they don't uh, don't believe uh, christian ji and all that so that good, they all teach good things no 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 religion teaches us to fight with each other every religion teaches us to love to be compassionate about to be altruistic and we must follow uh, all these things okay perfect so this gives us a very good indication and insight into such wonderful personality dr indrajit kaur who under her leadership is running an amazing institution of the pingalwara society dr indrajit kaur thank you so much for enlightening us thank you so much for inspiring us to become a good humanitarian so once again a massive thank you we move on thank you yeah thank you so much also <laughs> to you to meena ji to chan ji everybody yes uh, everybody um, uh, is worried about pingalwara i think so now you will be also worried in future and i expect you all to be the members of my family i extend my family members every time when i say, uh, speak to someone because uh, i i appreciate that god is in, in you also in meena ji also in chanti also god is present everywhere so so much so much respect and thanks to all of you who have given me chance to tell about the good things good ideals are which we are practicing thank you so much for that thank you we'll get to the thank you section in a short while we'll move on go to the our next section which is the very popular rapid fire round on the minlazm session dr indrajit this is a session whereby we will ask you very rapid questions there are about 16 17 questions that i would like to ask you which we could probably finish in about 7 to 10 minutes maximum so it would be a rapid question a rapid answer and we move on to the next is that okay with you Okay. Thank you okay. very much so Dr. Indrajit. Welcome to the Minlas uh, Zoom session rapid fire round. And the first question is what is the name Pingarwala mean to you? Pingarwala is a uh, we can say the house of god where uh, different ethics are being practiced. I used to say that is the laboratory of Guru Granth Sahib. so uh, in gurdwara guru harmandar sahab we we have a lesson and we practice in pingalwada all these things thank you next question bhagat puran singh the name bhagat puran singh bhagat means devotee puran means a complete man singh means a bahadur brave man <laughs> <laughs> thank you the next question the town of sangrur in punjab uh, guru in punjab sangrur sangrur yes i was born in sangrur i was brought up in sangrur i studied in sangrur there you go my <laughs> father a... was practicing doctor my mother was uh, both were very religious persons my Great. parents were. thank you number 4 the condition autism autism yes autism we have got so many children suffering from autism over here they are hyperactive and uh, the uh, some uh, one per one family is residing with us because their child is suffering from autism and he is he has grown more than uh, is about 26 years 
and no one who admits uh, in india after 19 years but in pingalwada he can go go and attend the school and uh, both the parents are serving in pingalwada these children are very uh, in one subject these children are uh, intelligent very intelligent and that child remembers the calendar about 50 years, 50 years calendar he remembered by heart so it is very amazing so people the autis autistic people are is being trained by some nice teachers they grow up a very intelligent persons so in bengalwada we have got autistic autist autism sub children suffering from autism they are hyperactive if they if you don't uh, teach them to be uh, uh, no to practice is being done by the parents then they don't behave properly they are very hyperactive thank you dr active. indrajit if i may request a very short answer to a short question because otherwise this questions will take a very long time and we won't get the rapidness to it so the next question to the rapid would be who inspires you first my parents dad and bhagat puran saying at guru granth sahab thank you the covid 19 pandemic next question the covid 19 pandemic well covid 19 we we started a ward in covid for for the patients of the covid 19 because khalsa had provided us with the oxygen concentration machines and we uh, used those machines and uh, had a ward over here and cured so many patients there so definitely a situation where you helped a lot thank you who is god to you god is a guru granth sahab god is guru granth sahab thank you the greatest virtue of sikhism is what we are ready to do simran and seva seva and simran thank you what do you think about meditation meditation is a remembering god from the heart not only by the tongue and love his country man thank you love what is people. your ultimate goal in one sentence my ultimate goal is to serve people uh, who are destitute who are, who are helpless thank you next question who takes over your legacy uh, it's not decided yet but uh, uh, it is uh, i am thinking about it okay thank you for sharing that with us dr indrajit what do you think about social media social media social media sometimes uh, social media is uh, uh, not good every everything every every everything is good or bad both things are there in everything so in social media also there are so many good things also and so many bad things also some it depends on the person who uses it who uses it the social media thank if you the good persons use social media they provide good things and if the social media uh, is uh, the person handling social media is not good then they will tell that it is harmful also thank you very much and uh, dr indrajit kaur uh, last but not the least question your favorite pastime pastime first time that one there were two things in my life which uh, which gave me a, a lot of happiness one is that when we started prosthetic center and the person came with who lost his both legs in an accident and we provided the artificial artificial legs to him and uh, one of our child who is working in that center he came running to me very excitedly he came to me and told me busy ana 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 there come 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 what is there just say that person was being carried by persons and now who is walking so I, it, it was it gave me a mess player ye isko utha ke laaye the chal ke ja raha hai then another oh. thing that we started cochlear implant operation and when first time the operation was successful that was the happiest day of my life wonderful thank you so much last question dr indrajit kaur 
How did you find Dr. Lalit Soda's rapid fire round? You have expressed so many things so nicely. You have covered all that. So thank you so much for that. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Indrajit Kaur, thank you. Thank you for participating on the minimalism session rapid fire round. And from myself, I wish a massive thank you to you. We have uh, Mr. Chanmal Kumarat with us from Manish Media. Um, we would like to say, uh, Mr. Chanmal, would you kindly give your vote of thanks in the next couple yeah, minutes, I, and we can then move on with the show. I'm, I'm thankful, thankful to. I'm thankful. Thankful to you, sir. <laughs> you are so nice. Mina Ben, Lalit Bhai, thank yeah. to share this um, prestigious uh, webinar. We try to help BBG Mission to serve the humanity as. Uh, they are doing seva. Seva is the biggest thing of every uh, dharma, but especially while thing on Sikhism, they meant for seva. I I am also Hindu. I travel. I follow many dharms, but as they did, while I went to BBG, so simple, so generous. She meet us within a moment, and she give me a tour of his um, ashram. I'm highly inspired. So we requested them to be part of Jewel of Punjab. Thanks. She accept our request. You are to doing make... so good work by printing the books, uh, Jewels of Punjab, and all that. <laughs> Thank you for uh, for your work also. Uh, doing hard work uh, on all these things. As you, as uh, as BBC mentioned in my that publication, we publish um, from 19 countries, 100 eminent Punjabis, and that publication inauguration is also um, graced by uh, presence of Indian ex Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh, Indian Army Chief. Dr. J.J. Singh and Chief Justice of India, including Punjab NRI Minister and all the dignities. I'm sorry, I couldn't attend that function. I was out of country at that no, time. If you are there, might be you have something on that day. But we have your presence by hearts. Thank your you soul so is there. Your blessing yes. is there. Inspired a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much, Dr. Uh, Mr. Kumarat. Thank you for your vote of thanks for a wonderful individual, Dr. Indrajit Kaur. We come towards the end of today's session, and we have our lovely Meena Bin, who will finally put a closure to today's session after looking at this and hearing this very inspirational session. I would like Meena Bin to finally close the session. Meena Bin? The floor is all yours. Thank you. <clears throat> really interesting, interesting talk. Something out of the world. I've never heard. Absolutely. Thank you, Janbai. That was really nice. Habari uh, Yazioni. Good evening, friends. This is my pleasant and humble duty to end this session with the heartiest thank you. My big thank you to Manish Media and my brother, Chandbhai, and special thank you to Abhishek for this session to happen. Thank you, beautiful soul, Inderjit Ji. It has definitely so made much, difference also. to the listener. Thank you, Mira Ji. Thank you. <laughs> Asandi Sana to all the viewers of Facebook Live and those who have joined us live on live Zoom. Can't end my thank you without saying big thank you to my cute cousin, Dr. Lalit Soda, and our co-host, Poonam. You can come and show. Thank the, you, everyone. Thank you, Poonam. Thank you all. Asandi Sana, Kwaheri, Sastriya Kal, Vahare Guru, Vahare Guru, 
Vahre Guru. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Good. We will be now ending today's session. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us today on behalf of Minlazum session. Stay tuned for the next Saturday afternoon. We have a superb singer who has more than millions of likes on YouTube, and we will be sending those posters out through the week. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned for that. Next Saturday, same time, UK time, 3.30, Kenya time, 5.30 p.m., and India time, 8 p.m. We have this wonderful singer joining us, and we look forward to you all joining with us. Thank you very much. Have a lovely evening. Bye-bye. I will unmute everybody so that you everybody can say hello, especially Pran Thapar is getting very excited. He From is, Canada. Yes, he's a classmate. And we will now close the session in a second. Please stay around. I just want to say thank you. Manu Chandaria. Thank you, Manu Bhai.